Are some people abusing laws meant to protect people with financial troubles because of the pandemic? Some homeowners in the ritzy Hamptons think the answer is yes. As Stephen Fabian reports, many New Yorkers moved to the east end of Long Island when the pandemic hit. And now some are allegedly refusing to pay their rent. And it appears there's little their distraught homeowners can do about it. Talk about squatting in style. Summer homes in the ritzy Hamptons can rent for $100,000 or more a month. Homeowners in this beachfront community outside New York City say a wave of squatters has moved in, refusing to pay rent that's due. Since the pandemic, thousands of wealthy New Yorkers have been fleeing the stricken city, and many of them have headed east, moving into short-term rentals in the Hamptons where they can ride out the crisis. However, now many of them are apparently refusing to pay the rent. This has been a complete nightmare for us, for our family, emotionally and financially. It's completely devastating. Paula Rosado rented her quaint three-bedroom home to a guy who she says hasn't paid rent. Rosado says the alleged squatter's two huge dogs have torn apart her house. The dogs have ripped up the backyard. The irrigation is ripped out of the yard and chewed. Inside the house is even worse. All of our rugs and couches are eaten and urinated on. Paula shot this video prior to renting out her home. Look how beautiful it is. But now the walls are filled with holes. There's broken windows. And she says the alleged squatter is refusing to move out. It's horrific. It really is just horrific. She's called police, but they tell her there's nothing they can do. No one can be evicted for non-payment of rent. New York Governor Residents. Andrew Cuomo has banned all evictions in the wake of COVID-19. Mr. Davis? Yeah, what's up? It may surprise you to learn that the alleged squatter, Jonathan Davis, is a prominent real estate agent who drives a Land Rover and brags about selling multi-million dollar estates. He refused to comment, and his lawyer asked us to leave. I got no comments except get off of the grounds. Okay. We're just completely heartbroken. All we want is our house back. We want him out. An attorney for the alleged squatter says they're trying to work out a settlement.